Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about React and Tailwind CSS. So we're going to go through, uh, install CSS in a React project, and then uh, build out a little uh, sign-in, login, slash, whatever form. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm over here at the Tailwind docs here uh, up top, and these docs are really good, so check them out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, they got a good search bar and everything, so uh, it's easy to navigate and whatnot. Um, but let's get into this. So we're just going to come in. Let's go through the instructions and get Tailwind up and running before we actually build anything out. So let's get right into it. I'm going to copy this over here, and we're going to come over. So we're over here at a terminal right here. Uh, I'm going to paste this in, and we're going to call this uh, Tailwind what uh, test. So we'll go like this and let that install. And while that's uh, working, let's come back over to these uh, docs right here and let's start doing the rest. So we're gonna come over and copy uh, this over right here. All right, so once that is done, uh, let's actually CD into that. Uh, tailwind like this, Tailwind test, and let's just open it up in VS Code. All right, so we're gonna come in and uh, paste this in here. So we're gonna npm install uh, dash d here, and uh, we copied it from the docs, although it hadn't worked exactly for me as uh, written on the docs. So I had to add uh, this Tailwind CSS uh, property right here. So uh, check that out. You might need to do that, um, or it might just work for you in the docs. So see what works. And I'm gonna hit enter. We'll let that install. Then we'll come back over. And now we're gonna have to install uh, this library here. So we're gonna come npm install, copy that over and come back over and wait for this to finish. All right, and then we're just gonna paste that in, hit install again, come back over again. And now we need to add a couple different things to our uh, package.json. So we wanna get these three things. Um, we're going to be using this instead of the native uh, React scripts that come with uh, the Create React app. So let's come back over in here. We can go to our package.json and we can come and see that this has been installed nicely. Now we want to look into our scripts here and we can get rid of uh, these three like this and just paste those in from the docs and save that. All right, so we're getting there. Let's continue on. Uh, next, we want to create a Cracko. Uh, config at the root of our project. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we want to add this. So let's copy this over and come back over. And in here in the root, we're going to create a file and it's going to be called uh, cracko.js. Is that right? Oh.config.js. I'll rename that. Dot js like that and we'll hit enter and paste this stuff in so that should be good just going to be a couple plugins here auto prefixer and tailwind.css so let's uh, continue on next we want to create a config file for tailwind so we can add this and we'll paste that in let it run and you can see there it's created this uh, tailwind config right here so that's looking good. This is where you can uh, add a whole bunch of different stuff, different plugins and whatnot to Tailwind. I don't know if we're gonna be doing much of that today, but uh, we'll just copy this over from here. This is the uh, Tailwind config there. I don't think, I think we've only added one thing. Yeah, all we, oh no, we didn't even add anything there. So that's good. Uh, let's come back down and they just want us to add this line here, uh, this purge line here. So let's come back. This purge is empty right now. We are going to paste in uh, this right here. So what happens here, I think with this purge, they say is that when you actually uh, build uh, for production, uh, it'll uh, limit the build size a lot. So that should be good. All right, so now we're gonna come into our index.css and add these in. Let's come back over. And over here, we can uh, check out our index.css in our src source file. So we don't need any of this, and we're just gonna paste in the styles right here. Go ahead and save that, and then come back over. 
And then finally, they just say make sure this is uh, this index.css is available, which uh, it is in our index.js file. So we'll just uh, double check that, but I think that is all we need to do. So if we come into our index.js, you can see that this index.css is being brought in. All right, so that is looking good. So now we can go yarn start. And then if we come over to here, um, you can see that our app is running. And if we inspect the element here, hopefully, Okay, now if you look in the side here, I'll bump this up a little bit so you can see, but these uh, TW stuff are all Tailwind um, classes. So it looks like everything is working well. So let's get into actually building out kind of a sign-in login form. If we come back over here, we can close this down and uh, we're gonna do all our work in the app.js file. So just open up this and that is mostly all you are gonna need. So we can close out of some of these. So let's go over to the Tailwind docs for a sec. And if we look at these docs, uh, they're pretty good as I mentioned. So you can look up everything that you might want. So say you want a background color that's already up here. So we can click on this and it's gonna tell you all the different classes. So all you're gonna do is within each element, you're just gonna add a class and then you're gonna add these different names and you can kind of stack them on top of each other in order to create your CSS. So everything's kind of done in line, which is uh, interesting and kind of a, a departure from a lot of uh, separation of concerns type stuff you might have been used to in the past. Anyways, let's get into actually coding some of this up and show you what it might look like to create kind of one of these forms. I think that's the best way we're gonna do it. So we're gonna come over here. We're not gonna use any of this, so we can get rid of the header and all that right there. All right, so we're gonna come in here and let's say we have a div like this. So we're gonna say div and then we're gonna add the class name as usual. And then we're gonna say that is gonna be equal to flex, uh, flex like this. So it's just gonna be in your quotes and we're gonna do everything here. So flex and then we're gonna say flex uh, wrap like that. And then we can say uh, justify uh, center, justify the element center. And then we have this abbreviation MT-20. So that's gonna be margin top of 20. And all these different abbreviations, uh, you'll get used to as you go, but they're pretty straightforward and uh, very intuitive into what you might think. So we're gonna come down here and this is gonna be our first div. And let's just uh, say test like this. Okay, so now let's just come over and check this out real quick. And we're in our React app and we can save this and you can see that we're justified center, uh, although I think that might be our CSS. Um, and that is our, our margin top right here of 20. So you haven't seen anything yet, but we'll keep going. So as you can see, you can really search for anything in here. You can say, if we wanted a background color, let's add a background color. So we'll say background color and just comes right up like this. And you can see all these different uh, like elements that you'll see. So different colors already set and you can set your own colors in the config if you wanted. Uh, let's do a BG gray 100 and we'll just add that to every element. So in order to do that, we can come over and uh, open up our uh, index.css and inside here, we can just come down and let's add uh, a background to the body here. So we'll say body and then in here, in order to add that, you can say at apply like that. And then we're just gonna paste in this BG gray 100 and save that. All right, so this BG gray 100 will now be applied to our background here. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's not white anymore, our background. It's this BG color, I believe. Yeah, so it's this gray color. So that is working well. So that's if you want to use the apply keyword and you can do that anywhere in any sort of style sheet. So that's uh, something good to know as well. So the benefit mostly is gonna be doing all this stuff in line. So you don't need a separate CSS files. You're doing it right there in, uh, on the element. So I think that could be potentially good. So let's continue here. I'm gonna fast forward through some of this as we go, just cause it's gonna be a lot of uh, typing, but uh, follow along. So I'm gonna come in here and do some Emmet abbreviations. So I'm gonna say .w dash full like this, and then we're gonna say .max uh, w uh, sm. And we hit that, and now uh, this is in our class name, so that's nice too. 
All right, so that's good. Now we're gonna need a form here. So we're gonna say form, and then I'm gonna do a class name here of uh, shadow. So this is gonna be uh, some sort of box shadow here, and that'll be MD. And then uh, add some more. All right, so now this is a class name for our uh, form. You can see we have some different padding uh, and some margin bottom right here. And if you go through and want to see what those look like, again, just look them up in the uh, Tailwind docs here. So if you want to say margin bottom like that, just look that up and you can see all the different values that you're going to get from that and what they uh, apply to. Everything's in uh, rems here, um, so you can convert that to, actually, I guess this is in pixels, but most of the stuff is in rems. So all these are very easy to look up. And often what I'll have is I'll just have the docs open beside as I'm going through, especially when you're first learning. Uh, it's a nice little uh, learning uh, tool right there. All right, so let's uh, speed through some of the rest and just show you how this uh, might look like. All right, so let's check this out, see what that looks like. And you can see that we got our username and our password field here, and then our username, we can test that out, and then our password will just be as a password. Uh, obviously, these aren't gonna go to anywhere or aren't functional, but it looks pretty good for a uh, very basic uh, user sign-in type form. And hopefully that kind of shows you uh, some of the power of Tailwind. In terms of speed and complexity, it uh, really does speed things up. Now you might not like that you have all this different markup within the classes, but uh, I actually don't mind it. Um, so I guess that's kind of a preference thing, but if you don't mind it, uh, I would give it a try.